coin enthusiasts out there. It is I, Dax Collects. And today, we are going to go over the best finds of Season 2, Quarter 1 of Coin Roll Hunting. So, as you can see, here are all the coins found between February 1st, 2024 to July 12th, 2024. So the reason why I'm starting this now instead of on May 1st is because I want to keep the seasons in line, start the quarters on April 12th. So April 12th, July 12th, October 12th, and January 12th. Then once April 12th hits of next year, that'll start the new season and start the new quarter. So we're just going to do one big quarter right here in this video. And these are the best highlights right here. I certainly don't have all the silver laid out for this quarter because that would take up way too much space. So I condensed it down just enough to fit everything on screen here. So, without further ado, let's get started with the best finds. So first up, right here, we have a 1914 San Francisco found inside of Penny Box number 74, found on July 8th, 2024. And this looks insanely old. Look at that. Let's see if it's one we've never seen before. Most definitely not. Look at that. Looks like a 1914 San Francisco. 110 years old. This will be an addition to the Lincoln Pennies number one collection book. Very nice. It has a very low mintage. 4.1 million of these were ever minted into circulation. Insane. Next up, we have this Lincoln penny. Another very rare wheat penny found in circulation. This is a 1926 San Francisco. This was found inside of Penny Box, number 54, and found on February 12th, 2024. Look at this wheat penny. I've got a feeling this is from the 30s. Let's flip this over and see. No, 1926, minted in San Francisco. Wow. This is actually an insane find. Only 4.5 million of these pennies were minted in circulation. This will be an addition to the number one collection book. Very nice. Just like the 14S before it, it has an extremely low mintage. 4.5 million. Both the 1914S and the 1926S are semi key dates for the wee pennies. They are still possible to find. You have to go through many boxes to find one of these. All right, now we have this penny right here. Check this one out. It's a clipped planchet, but not a very big one, as you can see. It's a 1968S. The clip is right here. We found this inside of Penny Box number 62 on April 15th, 2024. I believe this may be a clipped planchet Lincoln Penny right here from the year 1968, minted in San Francisco. As you can see, it's right up here. Look at the edge of the coin see how smooth that looks there is definitely a smooth edge right there 
when I flipped it over, here's what the reverse looks like. Definitely looks good. Zoom in closer to that. Look at that. It's very noticeable too. So pretty neat find. Thought it was worth keeping, so I put it in a coin holder. Next up, we have a 2004 Philadelphia DDR FS801 Penny. Found this inside of Penny Box number 74 on July 8th, 2024. Look at this. So we have a 2004 Lincoln Penny. And the one variety to look for is the double die reverse. So there is a double die on United States of America and E Pluribus Unum. Those are the only two spots that have the double die. And it's pretty hard to see on the phone here. But when I put it under the microscope, it's much easier to tell. So the most notable spots that you will see is the O on of, the first A of America, the second S on states, and also the A on states. And here's E Pluribus Unum. Definitely some doubling right there. Found this in the most recent penny box that we've went through. Those were the highlights of the pennies in the last five and a half months. Let's go on to the nickels now. First up, we have a buffalo nickel. Raised ground, 1913, Denver. Found this inside of nickel box, number 47, on April 1st, 2024. I believe we actually have a 1913. This is actually a first year buffalo nickel. Wow, that is crazy. And it's a Denver as well. This nickel right here will be an addition to the Buffalo Nickels collection book. Very nice. So before I nickedated this coin, I didn't realize that this was a raised ground variant until I found out that the year was 1913. And we also found out that it has a Denver mint mark below the five cents. You can barely see it. So the value basically dropped significantly, but I always love filling Buffalo nickels in the book. So I had to find out where it was minted and what year it's from. This was our first ever 1913 raised ground Buffalo nickel we found in circulation. Next up is a pretty rare Jefferson nickel. We have a 1939 San Francisco right here. A mintage of 6.6 .6 million. Crazy. Found this inside of nickel box number 40 on February 21st, 2024. 1939. Let's see if this nickel was from Denver or San Francisco. Still looking for those two. Let's see. No way. We have a 39S. Are you serious? 1939, San Francisco. Unbelievable. This will be in addition to the number one collection book. Very nice. It's very easy to find 1939 Philadelphia's in circulation, but not this coin, and especially the Denver variant, with a mintage of only 3.5 million. 
Still have yet to find a 1939 Denver in circulation, but I believe we will find it in the future. Okay, next up, we have this one. It's a Jefferson Nickel Proof from the year 1963, Philadelphia. Found inside of Nickel Box number 45 on March 15th, 2024. This is a Proof Nickel from the year 1963. Proof Nickels were from Philadelphia before they were exclusively San Francisco. San Francisco started minting proofs in 1968. So we just found an old proof coin in circulation. It still has a mintage of 3 million, but man, pretty crazy find right here. And the only Philadelphia proof coin that I've ever found in circulation. All the other proofs I found were from San Francisco. So, what a nice find this is. Next up is another proof Jefferson nickel. This time from the year 1994, minted in San Francisco. Found in nickel box number 43 on March 13th, 2024. I can already tell from the reverse side that this is a proof nickel. Look at the field. It has a mirror-like finish to it. Let's find out together what year this was from. 1994, minted in San Francisco. It does have a little bit of cameo. The Monticello building and the lettering, they all have that frosty look to it. And the field is especially nice as well. Gives it that nice look. A very neat find here. And now here's an interesting coin. Look at this. A 1983 Philadelphia misaligned die. Found in nickel box number 52 on April 21st, 2024. This is a misaligned die error. It's a little off center on the obverse, but on the reverse, it's perfectly normal, as you can see. An off-center strike would have both the obverse side and the reverse side off-centered. This coin right here isn't worth a whole lot more because it's not a very extreme misaligned die, but still a really cool find nonetheless. A pretty neat coin right here. Not often you find dramatic errors like this in circulation. It's not very dramatic, but just enough for it to be out of the ordinary. That's all of the nickel highlights. Now it's time for the dimes. Here's the first one. 1936 Philadelphia, found in dime box number 28 on June 5th, 2024. Oh yeah, we have a Mercury Dime right here. Let's find out what year this was from. 1936. All right, Mercury Dime on the board. And there's that Fassies in the center with the olive branch wrapping around it. A very neat design. And it does have a fairly high mintage as well. 88 million of these were minted, roughly. So, not impossible to find in circulation. Definitely possible. That's for sure. That's the first Mercury dime. And here's the second Mercury Dime, 1942 Philadelphia, found in dime box number 22 on April 11th, 2024. 
back to back rolls with a silver dime and it does look fairly old as well judging by the edge the reeded edge has worn down pretty significantly let's take a look at this one together we have a merc dime very nice this one is from the year 1942 minted in Philadelphia always fun finding these once again a very high mintage dime right here 205 million roughly that means there's plenty out there to find in circulation so go out there and get those boxes whenever you can someday you might find this And next up are the Roosevelt Silver Dimes. Starting with a 1946 Philadelphia. Found in dime box number 28 alongside the Mercury Dime from 1936. We have a silver dime inside of this roll. Judging by the edge, it's probably a 1964. Since the reeded edge really shows here. Let's take a look. Maybe it'll surprise me. This roll actually weighed 114.4, just 0.1 grams short of the target weight. But we do have a silver right here. All right. Doesn't have a mint mark. Let's see what year it's from. Wow. I am very surprised. We have a first year Roosevelt dime, 1946 Philadelphia. This will be an addition to the Roosevelt dimes number one collection book. Very nice. And in really, really beautiful condition. Still has a little bit of luster left. So this might have been stored on an album or something for a long time. And the overall design stuck around for a while. So a really fantastic looking coin. And next up is a 1951 Philadelphia silver dime. This was found in dime box number 20 on March 28th, 2024. Take a look at that, folks. We have a silver dime inside of this roll. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, we have a silver Roosevelt dime from the Philadelphia Mint. All right, let's take a look at the year. 1951 this dime right here will be an addition to the roosevelt dimes number one collection book very nice not in the best condition it's got a lot of wear to it but still very neat find this was an addition to the book just like the 46 before it and Next up, we have one more silver dime, this time from the year 1952, minted in San Francisco. Found this inside of dime box number 22 alongside the mercury dime from 1942. Is that what I think it is, guys? I think so. We have a silver dime right here. Wow, look at that. All right, let's see. And indeed, it is a silver dime. This one is from the year 1952. Kind of hard to read that, but I do believe this is a San Francisco Roosevelt dime. This will be an addition 
to the Roosevelt Dimes number one collection book. Very nice. We did find plenty of silver Roosevelt Dimes in this quarter. I want to say more than 10. So that's crazy. It was a great quarter for these silver dimes. And those are the highlights of the dimes. Now it's time for the quarters. First up is a 1943 found inside of quarter box number 19 on April 21st, 2024. Looks like our silver quarter dry spell has ended. We have a silver quarter right here. Wow. It has been a long time since I've seen a silver edged quarter here. Let's see what year in mint this silver quarter came from. Look at that. That's a beauty. 1943. Minted in Philadelphia. This will be an addition to the Washington Quarters number one collection book. Very nice. This silver quarter has a mintage of 100 million roughly. It's actually 99.7 million. A really neat find as well, found in circulation. And it's not easy to find where I live. So any silver we find will most likely be an addition. So I have plenty of spots to go. This is one of the four editions. And here's the second of the four. A 1958 Denver found in quarter box number 27 on June 18th, 2024. Look at what we just found. We found a silver quarter inside of this roll. Let's check out what year in mint this silver quarter came from. We have a 1958 Denver Silver Washington Quarter. This will be an addition to the Washington Quarters number two collection book. Very nice. Now this coin has a mintage of 78 million roughly. So there's that. Here's the third edition. 1960, Denver, found inside of quarter box number 21 on May 2nd, 2024. Look at that, folks. Looks like we're going to have one silver quarter inside of this roll right here. All right. Let's go ahead and find out. What's the year in mint of this quarter? Oh yeah. This one is from the year 1960. Minted in Denver. The mint mark is right there above the R in quarter. This here will be an addition to the Washington quarters number two collection book. Very nice. It just so happened to fall on my birthday when I found this coin. So a nice little birthday present. And here's the fourth edition. 1961 Philadelphia. Found this inside of quarter box number 31 on July 10th, 2024. The reeded edge looks really, really clean. Probably another 64 if I had to guess. That's a beauty right there. All right, we have a Philadelphia silver quarter this time. From the year 1961. Not entirely sure if I have this for the collection book. Let's find out together if we found an addition for the Washington quarters. Number two collection book. And here is that said book. Let's go ahead 
and open this up. Let's see if we found an addition. And there we go. This will fill a spot in this collection book. My most recent quarter find for the book. And it is not in the worst condition at all. And all these quarters were composed of 90% silver until the year 1965 when they changed the overall composition to the clad, the copper and nickel composition. And we have a proof Washington quarter. And it has the Missouri reverse design. 2003 San Francisco. Found in quarter box number 22 on May 2nd, 2024. Look at this. It's a San Francisco proof Washington quarter. I would assume it's going to be a state quarter, seeing that the S mint mark is small. Let's check it out. It is. We have a Missouri state quarter Notice that the field here has a mirror-like finish. Another birthday find, which is awesome. These aren't worth too much ungraded, but I always keep proofs for novelty. So I always love finding them out there in the wild, even when they're not intended for it. That's all the quarters. And now we have a bunch of halves to go over here, starting with a great find, 1971 Denver DDO, which means double die obverse FS 101, found inside of half dollar box number 11 on April 17th, 2024. So the main area to look for the double die is we trust and mostly R, S, and T on trust. You can definitely see it. You can see what looks like another R just below it. And look at the T. And also the S. That is double die obverse, folks. We did find one of these in circulation. So this is really nice to see. I always hunt for varieties whenever I coin roll hunt. It takes a lot of extra time whenever you do so, because you're looking at each and every single coin and studying those varieties just to see if you have one or not. So I love taking that extra time to find any oddball coins just like this and keep it for the collection. Next up is one of four Kennedy halves we found in this quarter, 1965. Found inside of half dollar box number 12 on April 17th, 2024. Look at that. We have a silver half dollar inside of this roll. It sure looks like a 90% silver half dollar. Let's see. If this is from 1964, it is a 90% silver half dollar. Let's see. Oh, wow. It's actually a 40% silver. 1965. Very nice. On the same day, I found the DDO. Always fun finding silver in circulation. These are worth well over their face value of 50 cents. Roughly $5 per 40% silver. And next up, we have three silver halves right here, all from different years and all found in one half dollar box. 1964 Philadelphia, 1965 and 1969 Denver, found in half dollar box number 13 on May 29th, 2024. Did we strike some silver? Let's see.
Yes, we did. We actually have two silver half dollars literally next to each other. Very nice. Let's check out this one. Oh, look at that beauty. We have a 1964 silver half dollar right here. This was composed of 90% silver. And let's take a look at the other one. This one looks like a 40% silver. And it is. We have a 1969 Denver. All right. We still have 11 more rolls to go. Can we find any more? All right, let's take a peek. Looks like we have a 40% silver half dollar right here. All right. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah. 1965 silver half dollar right here. This one's a 90% silver and these two are 40% silver. These are worth about 10 bucks melt value. So these are really, really sought after coins for coin roll hunters. We always love that 90% silver and especially the 40 percenters. Those are always nice too. So roughly $20 worth of silver here just from one box. Pretty amazing. All right, these next six finds are proof half dollars. Let's start with this one. A 2018 San Francisco found inside of the very same box as those three silver halves. We might have a proof half dollar right here. Look at how thick that is compared to the other edges. Wow. Oh, yeah. That is definitely a proof. Very nice. We have a 2018 San Francisco. Got some cameo as well. Wow. Very frosty. Minted in San Francisco. It is circulated, of course. So you can see some scratches on the coin. But that don't matter to me. What a beautiful coin this is. And in really stunning condition. I mean, it is only six years old, so it's not heavily circulated whatsoever, but man, got a nice cameo to it, including the reverse A beauty. Now, if you guys have watched my video on my recent half dollar box, you know, I found a lot of proofs in this one box. This is not all of them. This is actually about half of the proofs that I found in that box. Just didn't want to bring them all out. Just wanted to bring you guys the highlights here. So all these were found inside of half dollar box. Number 16 on July 1st, 2024. Usually proofs have a very thick edge. So when I pull it out, there it is. We have a beauty proof right here. Got some cameo. It is a 1987 San Francisco. Proof half dollar. What a stunner this coin is right here. Absolute beauties right here. Also, we got a 1972, 1976, a 1981 Type 2. We'll go over that in a sec. 1983 and 1987 San Francisco proof half dollars. The 1981 San Francisco Type 2 has a mint mark here that is what is called a clear s 
and the type one is called the filled S, which would look different than this. And this S design is actually more scarce than the type one mint mark. So very cool find. And then we have an absolute gem of a proof right here. This 1987 San Francisco. Look at Kennedy. Nice reflection there, even on the bust. A beauty. And there's the reverse. So this was one of the craziest half dollar boxes that I've ever opened up on the channel. I have never found this many proofs in a box until I went through that box. So absolutely incredible. And there we go, folks. These were my best finds of the quarter for season two. So a really great start to the season. I'm going to keep grinding and open those boxes for each and every one of you and see what we can find and prepare for the second quarter, which should be on YouTube sometime in mid to late October. Now let's decide which one of these coins is the highlight of the quarter. It's a tough one this time because they're all really, really incredible coins. Just found in bank rolls, but the best one of these is gonna have to be Mmm, very tough decision. I believe it's this. 1914S Wheat Penny right here. Now it is heavily worn, heavily circulated, but it is a very, very difficult coin to find in circulation. I'd say even harder than a mercury dime it is a very very tough coin but i would say this penny here is the highlight of this quarter if i had to pick a second one this coin the 1971 denver ddo fs 101 this would be my second highlight if i had to pick another one but there are so many nice coins in here. Let me know which of these coins you like the best and which one of these coins would you think is the highlight of the quarter? Let me know down in the comment section below. So another quarter in the books. Now it's time we sign off. So thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Dax Collects and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Good luck hunting everyone. And have a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you want to check out another video, click on the bottom left corner. See you guys next time.